We've hit a new record with COVID-19 vaccinations, more than 4 million doses being distributed in one day. But there are still worries. Some areas are opening up too fast. The Texas Rangers are playing their first game, allowing 100% capacity. But is it safe? Here's Jim Murray. The largest gathering of Americans in more than a year is happening today as the Texas Rangers open their stadium to 100% capacity for tonight's home opener. That's more than 48,000 people sitting shoulder to shoulder cheering on their team. Low Life Park is taking precautions. The roof is open for air circulation. Masks are required except when eating or drinking. Social distancing will be enforced at concession stands. Universal Theme Park in Orlando declared itself at full capacity today, the third day in a row. Airports are also packed with passengers as airlines see a surge in travelers this week. A lot of people traveling today. In Atlanta, America's busiest airport, the wait time for security is 45 minutes. It was a record-setting weekend with more than 6 million people traveling by plane, a pandemic high, and experts are once again warning of a potential fourth wave. But this time, the most vulnerable are not the older people, the majority of whom have been vaccinated. The target is younger people who are still waiting for their shots. I couldn't taste or smell anything. Lydia Perosi is a 24-year-old producer at Inside Edition. She admits she let her guard down and ended up contracting COVID-19. I have been going to restaurants and things that are permitted now. I completely thought I was in the clear, uh, so close, but not close enough, I guess, like right when I was just about to be able to get the vaccine. Infectious disease expert, Dr. William Schaffner. Younger people indeed are spreading this virus because they're the ones that are being more, shall we say, casual. They're taking off their masks and going about. So they're spreading the virus amongst themselves. In New York City, Jerry Seinfeld spoke out after performing his first live show since the pandemic began. It felt like getting electrocuted in a good way. In the moment of a laugh, you forget every problem you've ever had. And to end on a high note, Mariah Carey posted this video of her getting her COVID vaccination. Mariah revealed this was only her first shot, so she still has one more to go.